let's make this recipe a delicious egg and potato recipe it's cheap simple and easy breakfast that you can have within a minute this recipe is better than any cave worthy making and it's easy to prepare a quick recipe for egg potatoes breakfast <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be trying a recipe with hash brown and I, I had this craving so i had to make them guys so today we are going to make them and i hope you like this kind of videos if you do please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm trying a different yes it's link right now i'm trying a different like way of vlogging cooking videos so let me know if you like it and if you want me to try more of these inspired dishes and you can let me know by liking these videos you're gonna peel your potatoes you need like four potatoes for this recipe i bought mine at a local grocery store i don't know what potatoes they are called but they're just my local potatoes you're gonna boil them hard boil them for eight minutes set a timer eight minutes guys add salt let them boil with the salt in the meantime as the potatoes boil you're gonna grate your onion onion is uh i love onion so if you don't love onion you can skip that part but grate your onion like one onion just grate it if you have a blender you can blend it because <laughs> there's no difference but yeah so you're going to use also garlic and butter and corn flour those are the ingredients you need for today and egg so the your your potatoes are already hard boiled this is the reason why you need to hard boil them so that you can grate them easily because it's like blanching you're blanching them do you know guys if you blanch also your chips they become more yummy yeah so you grate them as it is and you have the final product like this pure in your onion garlic corn flour all in the mixture you need like uh, three tablespoons of corn flour all the ingredients will be on the description down below the links everything will be down below so you need also a teaspoon of garlic powder and mix all your ingredients coat them well and then the last one is you put the egg one egg is okay i just use farm range eggs because they are more tasty then you mix that up so that it's well coated as it is then you scoop like one scoop and then make a shape like the Mac no mcdonald's hash brown shape actually this is their hash brown guys so you just make them shape you can shape them the way you want for me i want it like that of mcdonald's shapes i've never even eaten mcdonald's but i just wanted it to be like that after that you put them in the fridge so that they can be harder so you set them in the fridge for 30 minutes and set a timer it's really important to follow rules on things that you have not done before after 30 minutes they are ready so you put your butter take one tablespoon of butter for the taste for them to be golden so i took unsalted butter you can skip also this part but just do as i say all the ingredients of the recipe on the description down below and let's get a girl to 30,000 subscribers also put it or uh, put your pan on high medium heat your potatoes are ready you've let them from the fridge and set them for like a minute or something so now we're gonna have to deep fry them for maybe two to three minutes each side have to fry them on a high medium heat guys so that they If you like this kind of video for me to be doing them, please click a like. That's the only way I will know.
That's the only way I will know that you will get this kind of video from me. And to, for me to do more of this kind of videos for you guys. Okay? And yeah, hit that subscribe, support the channel on PayPal so that I can afford those, how do you say, kitchen accessories, kitchen utensils. Nice and fluffy inside. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not gonna let this. No, no. I'm not gonna let this. Wait. Let me dip it for you. Fluffy, crispy outside, fluffy inside. You see, this one is the best one. Let me take a photo. <laughs> 